Okay, guys, here we are. Uh, uh, portfolio reveal. Here we can see the FANG, the Facebook. Okay, it's down. Apple, down. I mean, they're up today, 2%, 1%, but the, the entire portfolio is down. Uh, we don't have too many shares, especially not, not from Alphabet nor Amazon, which are both down. I mean, they're up 1%, 1.5%, and, and Microsoft 1% up, but all of them are negative in the portfolio. Uh, the only one safe is Tesla, but the funny thing is I, I was going to do the video because uh, I noticed that from one moment to the other, uh, Tesla was at 50. So we were making $50 profit today, or but this is not today, this is the entire, uh, for the entire time. This is historic negative $10,000 uh, from Tesla. And, uh, and this went down to nothing, it was like 300. And the moment I decide to do the video and come back, <laughs> I see Tesla recover very quickly. And uh, that's pretty impressive. I'm going to close this one and uh, let's see how can it be that such a big difference when Tesla just moved uh, only uh, a few uh, percentual points, nothing. So very strange. Probably the system was down or something. But look at this. Um, Train, uh, talking about the hourglass uh, trading uh, in two term, double game, double uh, term. Uh, so you have you play positions in the short term, which you flip quicker at the lower margin, and you have positions in the longer term, which you flip at a longer cycle, and you play with the cycle of each stock. In this case, it's Tesla, which we know it's a, a around 20 to 30 day cycle, full cycle. I'm talking about so half a cycle uh, so the moment it goes up and then it might take uh, 15 days 10 days and the moment it goes down and back up it takes another 10 to 15 days so uh, today for example you see uh, with the hourglass strategy if we would have tweaked it correctly we could have sold some shares at this level barely there okay but we didn't but it could have been it would have been a good a strategy to sell some so then we gain more liquidity and buy them three percent cheaper and all that in one day that could have happened but it, it didn't it, we didn't do it i mean we bought one share at around here another one here and another one there so basically we bought uh, a few shares and we can check that out by clicking in transactions and then we can filter here by uh, Tesla okay so that's what we're gonna do Tesla and we can see just the transactions for Tesla so we bought today okay we bought four okay a different 429 425 424 422 well that's already pretty good I mean we bought them at different prices and we only bought one of each every time and why is that because we were moving the hour clock down uh, because that that's uh, to to be more uh, to take less risk and uh, and basically because we could see that tesla might turn down uh, and look now actually i'm going back sorry about that i don't want to get you dizzy but look now we're at 1000 <laughs> in the portfolio uh, a, a minute ago we were 1300 so um yeah that's what uh, probably was not tesla the one affecting the entire portfolio but before uh, i was talking just about tesla it was at 50 and then it was 200 something so now it's falling let's check out the portfolio and see how tesla is showing in the portfolio you see one 100 so it it's very small movement since we have a big uh, percentage of the portfolio which represents uh, is represented by Tesla so it's half of the portfolio is Tesla so every small move makes a big impact in the overall portfolio and if we check the overall loss we're at 30,000 loss, which is a big loss still to recover, but uh, getting there slowly, 
the moment Tesla takes off, imagine if with these very small moves we're making two hundred dollars, the moment Tesla takes off, wow, it's gonna be skyrocketing. I mean, come on. <laughs> so what we were talking about before in the previous video were some uh, support levels for Tesla. So uh, we were saying that we are right now at twelve percent uh, that it could drop. So risk and reward. The risk could be that Tesla drops twelve percent. That's the highest risk. At the moment, I mean, the highest risk it would be a lot more, obviously, but until the next support line, and um, and then, so if you evaluate uh, the reward the reward might be another 12 percent so we're at 50 50 that's not the best scenario for trading um, normally you would like to have a double reward for the risk but uh, the good thing about tesla okay is that it's very strong and whenever it, it falls it then, it then recovers very quickly so uh, here's where we calculated that support line from where we were actually not today but from where we were yesterday when we reached the bottom and that was at 415 now we're at 422 it doesn't make much more of a difference it might be 13 percent that might be the, the the risk but the reward actually if we think about the reward uh, it would be the biggest we can go up I mean it would be 500 that's what we said so from here up we can calculate trend line and we can put more or less here to 500 I don't know why it's so high this 500 but why is 500 so high up and I don't see any Tesla I thought it was well that's probably that's the um, that was what we expected it to do but look okay 470 but look it was 450 and that's only 6.73 percent that we can go up I mean that's that would be the the reward and that would be uh, at the highest point that was at 448 more or less so then we can calculate uh, what will happen in a hypothetical situation that we reach the 500 goal that we have in mind ever since battery day happened and uh, S&P 500 insertion didn't happen okay so now that we got earnings and uh, and deliveries and we didn't get earnings but we can calculate more or less earnings based on deliveries we can estimate that we could go up 20 percent almost 18 to 500 and i think that's not something irrealistic in my opinion but i mean um, I've, I've seen people say that we could go all the way to 600. i think that's a bit crazy to to say right now but it's not impossible but we'll see once once uh, tesla gets inserted in, in the s p 500 i'm pretty sure we'll be at the 700 even it can get crazy like that because all the institutions will start buying tesla like crazy and uh, it's all about offer and demand they buy and the price goes up so good then okay guys i hope you like the video uh, it gives a bit of a different perspective and uh, well risk and reward and uh, we checked also the double game uh, uh, with the, our uh, glass strategy uh, don't forget i'm not a financial advisor i'm just a retail investor and uh, i hope to see you in the next one thanks for watching bye